Hi, I'm Justin with Direct Colors. Just going to take a quick second and visit with you a little bit about applying a 550 water-based polyurethane to your countertop. Polyurethane is a great sealer to use as a finish coat or a top coat. You could apply it over um, epoxy. Uh, you could apply it over the bare concrete or just an acrylic uh, uh, primed surface. But it's a great scratch resistant coating. This is where your durability is going to come in for your countertop finish. I have a few tools laid out here that are going to be important. Again, today we're talking about spraying it on, and that's important. But we've got the 550 water-based mini kit right here. Uh, this is good for about 50, 60 square feet. Uh, we've got an HVLP spray gun right here. This is dialed up uh, um, with a pressure between, you could go anywhere between 40 and 60 uh, PSI when you're spraying this material. Uh, gravity feed. And then when you're doing any of these coatings, you want to wear some sort of a, a protective gear for your breathing and for your eyes. Uh, this will keep you from breathing in any of the particles. It's going to put a lot of vapors into the air on application. Okay, so we have our 550 uh, polyurethane broken down right here. We've got the resin, which is in can A. You're going to have a little more resin. Then we have a hardener in can B. It's a little bit less. Uh, we're going to mix these two together thoroughly. We want them stirred together very well. Uh, you want to make sure you don't shortcut that process because your sealer will not harden up evenly or completely if you don't get the hardener well stirred into this material. Once you get them mixed together, you've got about 20-25 uh, minutes. You need to be finished with your project in 20-25 to 25 minutes or else this material starts to harden up a little bit and it won't settle out well. So we're going to go ahead and mix this together and, uh, and load it into our sprayer and get started. make sure I get as much of this material added in as I can get out of there. We don't want to shortcut it. When you're mixing the A and B together on this, uh, it, it is white because it is water-based, kind of looks like milk. When you put the hardener in there, you see swirls because the hardener is clear. Uh, as you're stirring it, the swirls dissipate out, and that's how you know it's getting more thoroughly mixed. But you do want to stir it past that a little bit. Make sure you're getting all the way up into the sides and you're going across the bottom and uh, thoroughly stirring this up. Once I get this mixed up, we're going to pour it into the top of our gravity feed gun, and it should be ready to start spraying on. Uh, with polyurethanes, you don't want to spray them too thick. Uh, the wet film thickness on this is about 5 mils is where you want to be. To give you an idea, it's about the thickness of a sheet of paper. Very thin. If you build water-based polyurethanes especially uh, too high, they'll start to be cloudy whenever they're curing. And then if you go too far, it'll actually start to foam and uh, really, really create a big problem for you. Okay, so I think I have this mixed up well enough. I'm gonna grab the gun. First thing I'll do with the gun, certainly make sure you're getting some pressure blown through here. That's about what we want. Again, that's 40 to 60 PSI. Take the lid off. Let me go ahead and put my mask on. That little bit is probably more than I need to seal this small piece that we're doing for a sample. Just don't want to run out. With polyurethanes, it's important not to run out of product. You always want to have enough to complete the job. Some sealers you can go back and blend. Polyurethanes do not blend. So if you run out, you're going to have to recoat the whole surface in order to not see a seam. Okay, I'm going to spray this into a little trash can that I've got down here just to make sure that I have material that's loading through the sprayer. I want material coming out evenly when I begin applying to my surface. Now these guns, they come actually with some instructions. Uh, you can read the instructions that talk about 
how to apply the material and keep it even. Typically you want one long stroke that begins off the surface all the way across extending beyond your edge and then letting go and then beginning and coming back. That's how you get the most even surface that you can get. I'm going to try to do that as best I can within the frame that I've got. I might cut it a little bit short just for the sake of uh, you seeing everything that we're doing here. So here we go. It's coming out very light. It's probably hard to see. Video. As I'm doing this, you can see a little bit of a light and a dark spot. The dark spot is where the sealer is hitting a little more evenly. I can go back and hit those light spots and blend it out, no problem. I have a pretty good coat on here right now. I'm going to continue to pass a little bit because this is a very absorptive material. It's sucking in a lot of that sealer, so I'm putting a little bit more down. It's okay, I'm not overbuilding. If you haven't used one of these guns before, you're going to notice there's kind of two stages to that trigger. You can pull it in a little bit, about halfway, and it's just pushing air. And then you pull it the rest of the way in, that's what engages the material to release from the uh, hopper. That's really about all there is to this. You see the process, you just keep coating till you get a nice even film across your countertop. Um, you don't want to build it to the point where you see too much milky spots developing. That's when you know you're getting a little bit too thick. Just develop a nice shine on there. Make sure you don't have any dull spots against light spots. If you do, pass over the dull spots again. Uh, you'll get a nice even coat. Polyurethanes are difficult to put on if you're just rolling them. They tend to want an orange peel because you have to put them on so thin uh, and it's hard to get a smooth finish without spraying this material. Uh, this overlay has a little bit of texture on it so you're going to see the texture in the overlay. Had this been a smooth countertop finish like a polished or a, a cast countertop piece it would be uh, a quite a bit more smooth. It would look like glass. Hi Justin here with Direct Colors. Just a quick note for you on the 550 Poly urethane application. Uh, we just went through and did a good how-to on how to spray this through an HVLP gun. Uh, we got a good looking surface, got some nice shine. Um, I want to go back through and put a little bit on with a roller so you can see what I was talking about. I was talking about when you try to roll this sealer it can stipple or give you a little bit of an orange peel effect. It doesn't really settle out but a lot of people like to roll it and that's okay. So I've got a roller here. I'm going to saturate it in the 550. This has already been mixed and stirred. This is a 3 8 inch nap roller. If you buy one of our kits, this is the roller that's included in it. I'm going to go ahead and get it saturated good. And then we'll get some of that sealer runoff there. I've defuzzed this nap roller already. You want to defuzz it over some packing tape or, or duct tape or something like that to get the loose fuzz out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this over so you can kind of see what it looks like. When you're putting polyurethane on, you don't want to really press. If you really press, you see how all that material starts to run out to the side and get thick? That can create lap lines. It could be hard to get all that smoothed out without having to overwork the sealer. So what you want to do is just make sure that this is full, not sopping wet, but, but has plenty of material on it. And then just lay it on the, sop, the top of your surface 
and push it. Let the roller do the application. If you need to add just a little pressure to make sure that some is coming out, that's fine. Just not so much pressure that you're bleeding sealer everywhere. Okay, uh, so you can roll it out like this. You're going to get a little bit of what they call orange peel. It's a little hard to see it on this surface, but it's there. If this were a smoother surface, you would see it better, uh, but that gives you an idea. So it, it really is just letting the weight of the roller do the work. Run it across, very, very slight down pressure, if any at all. Uh, if you see any variation of color, light and dark, try to even that out. Don't stop in the middle of your countertop. You don't want to run it right here and stop and pull. That mark will never go away. You'll see it in the finish. You always want to go completely across, completely back, and even that coat out as best as you can without overworking the sealer. Um, sometimes people will get on there and just kind of start rolling this out like paint. Uh, that's not what you want to do because you're going to see every direction change in your finish. Keep it as, as uh, neat and uniform as you can. I'm going to go ahead and roll this. The little bit of milkiness that you see in this sealer right now, it will dissipate when this cures. That's just because this is a water-based polyurethane. That's what they do. As it cures, it will cure clear. That cloudiness or that milkiness will go away. Like we spoke a little bit on the spraying video, if the cloudiness does not go away, that means the sealer got a little bit too thick. Okay, that'll give you an idea. This right here is something we'll want to keep an eye on where it's a little more white down here. I anticipate this is going to clear out. I may have got the sealer just a little bit heavy right here. Uh, we'll know better uh, tomorrow when we come back and see this fully cured, how that's going to settle out. And that's it. It's very simple and it's a great product to finish off your countertops. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions beyond what you see in this video, please give us a call. Our phone number is 405-275-6657 or you could look at our website at www.directcolors.com and find more information. Thank you very much.